What's up, boys and girls? Welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like yes. the video, and comment down below. All right, BFFs, we got this new LED sign that's coming out. It's like the perfect size. It's the perfect colors. You can't see it completely on camera. Here we go. You can kind of see it, but it's the blue. It looks exactly like our logo. It's 55 bucks. Once it sells out, it's gone. So it's limited edition. Get it while you can. It comes out today. BFFs. So it finally dropped. We got a bunch of viral moments. So let's go through them and see what we got and then sort this all out and see if there's been any feedback. Uh, Josh, obviously you were a part of it. Yes, yes I was. Josh, the fuck are you laughing about? Does Bryce know you slid in the DMs recently? Oh, you tell Bryce about that? Oh, oh, hey. I'm hey. sorry, I'm sorry. Look at her, look at her. <laughs> Here, wait, let's talk about the DMs that he sent Josie. Those, those ones were very fuck boy. What were they? What were they? I, I don't, I don't remember. I so. <laughs> don't remember sliding uh, in. We can pull them up. Yeah, pull, pull them up, pull them up. <sighs> pull them up. I might be digging my own grave here, but eh, we'll see. So what was the sequencing of that, Josh? Was, what was filmed first? I think the roast was filmed before the podcast. Gotcha. So you, that was already known. Was that literally like, the, was that an act or was that the first time that she said that? Were you like caught off guard by that? Um, I mean, I think like, I think she was kind of just playing at the fact that like I DM'd and said, Hey, like we read them on the podcast. Like it yeah, really yeah. was just like a hey thing. But I think she was just kind of like trying to like put in more to the joke. It was like a roast, right? So they were trying yeah, to like, yeah. play it a bit, but yeah, no. So that was like just before. That's why when we were on the podcast, I was kind of like, I don't remember texting some like super fuck boy shit. Like I was trying to think like, what did I DM her? But no, nah, yeah, that was, that was kind of it. She went in thing. on Bryce. She was making fun of his dick the whole entire time. Yeah. No, it was crazy. I was kind of I was kind of a little bit disappointed. They cut out like 50% of my jokes. So they they just thought that some were too intense, so they didn't want to like get me canceled. What were what were they? They were like they were good. I maybe we should just like I should just like send the foot I have the footage. Like I have the footage of all the original jokes. Yeah, I, I think we should do I'm that. I'm all for re-releasing it. I heard your jo once you said who you collaborated with to help you brainstorm, I knew the jokes would be savage. Yeah. You oh, were yeah. Whitney Whitney, Whitney does not fuck around with that. She'll not come for your throat all. and then when you're dead, she'll stomp on you like twenty more times. So mm. yes. Uh, and we heard some of it. I, it I, so they cut it? Yeah, they cut it. Like, I told, so the, the night they filmed it, they were saying, like, yeah, some of the jokes, depending on how, like, intense they are or whatever, might need to get cut. And I, I went up to them, and I actually went up to Jason and was like, uh, dude, don't cut out any of my fucking jokes. And I was, like, right after he had finished, so obviously I was, like, feeling good or whatever, but I was just like, well, I was like, don't cut a fucking joke. All of those hit. I want every joke in there. I don't want the transition to be wrecked at all. I don't care about being, just keep them all in. And then uh, they, they didn't. So, so I mean, a decent yeah. amount then, because we lost that. Um, we lost, we lost... Uh, Jeff. What's Jeff Wittick's. Yep. Um, I don't know who else lost. Uh, we see here. So Josie went after. Haven't they? Hasn't she denied prior to that that they slept together? Or am I making that up in my head? Who Bryce and Josie? I don't think yeah. she's ever denied it. No, I don't know if she denied it. She might have denied that they like dated. I don't think they ever. They never dated. Yeah, I think got they it. Just like hooked up. Um, jo, jo, who, I don't know why this one's on there. Josie asked how many sway boys it takes to screw in a light bulb. That's not like that cutting edge. Unless there's something I, I don't, more. I don't remember the joke. No, but actually, has anyone ever wondered how many Sway House member it takes to screw in a light bulb? Who knows? They're all too busy cheating on their girlfriends. Oh, there's a little punch there at the end, I guess. Yeah, a little, little, oh, threw you for a, a little loop. You know what I mean? Makes Sending sense why direction. that was on there. Well, yeah. I, uh, what degree of accuracy would you say that um, jab was? Um, on like, if you're talking about like percentages and you yeah. do the whole sway boys. Yeah. I would say like 50. 50? After I like Jeez. the time of sway when we were like in like the old sway house, like the very beginning, I would say maybe like for the whole house, maybe it was like 50% of the guy or maybe like 40. Bree, what was your reaction? Do you think that was too low or too high? I think I think the um, he bought himself a little time, and the way that you hesitated, it was a, it's a hundred percent. Everyone was cheating. Oh, it's not a hundred. It's <laughs> definitely not a hundred. I can tell you that. Was, I mean, Anthony, was, think about Anthony. Was though? think about Anthony. Okay, ninety nine percent then. 
That's not how percentages work if there's only seven dudes in the house. One guy I'm gonna go, is not I'm going to go 1%. with 98% based on this interaction. This doesn't yeah. even make sense now. How does one dude only deduct 2%? If Anthony is alone in this and everyone else did, it's still right. like, come I'll go 100 on. It's still then. like 60. Yeah, I'll go 100 I'll go too. Yeah. Well, you guys suck. <laughs> uh, Tana takes 100. a shot at Josh. Bro, everyone was taking shots at me. Well, I felt yeah. like it was my Josh, roast. you violated us almost as much as you violated Nessa when you cheated on her with every girl on TikTok. Did that air? Yeah, yeah that aired. Tana commented, Tana commented about it. She was like, this was a joke. It was at a roast. Everyone chill the fuck out. But um, no, like, yeah, I don't know how they're going to air that and then they don't air my jokes. I was like, what the fuck is going on? That seems selective. How, seems so selective to me Where too. did this air? YouTube, it aired on right? YouTube. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did it murder? I have no idea. I watched it, all of it yesterday. I didn't look at the views, though. Did you think it was good? Yeah, it was pretty funny. You could definitely tell they cut like everything Josh said, though. It's got 600,000 views in a day. Uh, I think the first guy was one of the funniest, and I didn't even know him. Was that? Adam guy. Who was it? Well, Adam W. Yeah, yeah. He, he was good. He was good. Adam was good. They cut out my whole bit about him. Didn't even leave one joke in that I had about him. So that I, was a problem. Like, it made my transitions, I feel like, so weird. You know what I mean? When they take Yeah, they kept cutting you like up. I was middle. like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, yeah. Sucked. And, and everyone and was calling so, Noah Beck gay. Every single person on the stage was calling <laughs> Noah Beck gay, saying that he fucks yeah. Bryce Hall. Yeah, there was, there was a lot of uh, Noah sucking Bryce dick jokes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Jason Nash, the host talked about why some of the things were cut, I guess, including Jeff's set, so let's see what he says. Oh, perfect. Geek sponsored this roast. They're a great company, they're a great app, uh, and more importantly, they're, they're just great people to work with. They, uh, they really get it, they really made the roast so fun. They came and gave away tickets. There was all kinds of stuff that they did that night that was really cool. Um, and basically, there were uh, a bunch of jokes that they wanted cut out of it. And I said, of course, you know, it's, you guys are paying, and that's the way it works with brands. Brands, you know, they're paying you. So, you know, they want uh, certain things gone. And the things that they asked to cut, I didn't think were that crazy. Um, um, and so Jeff had four or five jokes that were cut. And so what's been going on, why the roast isn't out yet, is because I've been, um, you know, going back and forth with Jeff and Siki, trying to find a compromise um, as in terms of what jokes he can say. Um, and so I, uh, I got Jeff to cut two of the jokes, but then there were three more that Jeff uh, wouldn't budge on, and he said, I want to pull my set. And so that's basically it. That's, there's no drama to it. Um, there's, it's unfortunate. Jeff's set was so good and so funny. That's what he wants to do, and you know, he's that's so fair. That's a little it, bit if all my funniest jokes got cut, I would kind of say pull my set too, I think. Also, I think... He uh, hates David. Things. Well, maybe, but two things. That guy's in the vlog squad. Yep. Yeah, he's kind of like you, Dave. No. <laughs> yeah, Great. exactly like you. That guy could be my grandfather. <laughs> How old's Jason Nash? He's got to be the same age as... No I mean, I fucking way is that guy the same age as me. Oh, Let's you're, look it up. Oh, he's I, younger. No, he's okay. No. Wait, he's, what did it say? I thought it said it's, 43. No, it's 48. So oh, he's, he's like 48. three years older than Dave. Yikes. Yeah, like that much older. <laughs> I look way better. Wow. That's, that's, ah, shit. Jeez, we're at the Jason Nash roast right now. Damn Time man. out. I look more than five years younger than him. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you do, man. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I got to pull teeth to get a fucking compliment around here. <laughs> well, it's like we're not just complimenting you. We're also like praying on this on him, downfall. Yeah. And I'm not shitting on him. Like I just thought that guy was in his You 60s. just said he could be a grandfather. Yeah, I dude. thought he was minimum 60. <laughs> his kids are like 11. Oh, that you never know that the it. next. Wait, how that old is he? That probably takes 48? a lot. That ages you, I'm sure. It does age you. Having kids ages yeah, you, Yeah, I'm sure. Sure, it does. Um... I, I, the only thing I disagree with him, but I get he has to do it. If I hosted a roast, I would make it very clear to the paying sponsor, the jokes stay. You don't control content. Like, know what you're getting yourself into. But yeah. it's a dangerous slope in that situation. Sometimes I get it, but it's a fucking roast. 
Like that's the you, problem, right? Like when you think about roasts and you think about Comedy Central and you go and you watch those roasts, the shit is crazy that is said in it. Like if you go and watch those, but it's all to be taken lightheartedly. Like people are saying the worst things about yep. each other, but it's like it is all about just like laughing at yourself. And if you did fuck up in the past and did some terrible ass shit, you're supposed to be able to laugh it off with everyone there and like be like, all right, I realized I was a dickhead or I realized I did some fucked up shit. But we're all moving on, and, like, I'm laughing at it. We're all able to laugh at it and move on. Like, so, that's the point of a fucking Yeah, and, 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 I mean, I, know, I just know if that happened at Barstool, if my sales team on a roast was like, you got to cut this, it would be World War Three. Like, I'd never, oh, yeah. I'd be like, we'll do it for free. Like, we'll, we don't want your, your money. money. Like, we'll pay yeah. it back. Yeah. Yeah. Once you let sales dictate content, it's a slippery slope. It um, is, yeah. The big rumor, and we tried to get Noah, I think, I, I don't know if we reached out to Dixie, um, did they or did they not split? Do we know for sure here? I I I haven't like heard anything when I asked Blake to come on the pod this week and we tried to hit up they both they both were like not answering about it. So I don't know if that's because of that or if they just like didn't want to come on the podcast. I know they both said no to like just going on the podcast before when drama goes on because like I think they they're just more like clean creators. Like they don't like to get involved in the drama. Fair. You know who we should have on? The Dumai. Would they ever do that? Do they have a face? No. Uh, oh, they have a podcast, apparently. There but I don't go. think, I don't know that she would reveal he or she. Maybe we just blur her face. It would be interesting to talk. Yeah. Um, but they were the ones broke. There's screenshots to Dix, Dixie and Noah break up. Um, I don't know. Since they, they've been talked about it on E! News. Po Wait, since these have been posted, Dixie spoke to E! News about their relationship. Let's see what she said. See if we can decipher anything here. Being in a relationship and working, I've known that from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And I think that's just so part of life. And you work and you see each other when you can. And everyone's busy, so we'll make it work. Uh, that they're broken like up. This is literally what happened with me. You work too much, you have to break up with your boyfriend. Hold on. I'm going to text her and see if she'll answer. <laughs> He's going to text Dixie? I guess so. What's he going to say? Are you and Noah broken up? She's and that's going to that's gonna come off the wrong way. Yeah, that it, yeah that's going to come off <laughs> such the wrong way. way. Hey, yo, Dixie, long time no talk. So what's going on with you and Noah? <laughs> Didn't, I'm just going to be, you break up? Like, what is the point of not saying it if you did? Fair. Yeah, if it, I mean, if you're broken up, you're broken up. Who really cares, right? Yeah, it's kind of a dickhead move by her. If she's a friend of the program, not to break it with us. That is that is true. What do you what do you work cooking up in the lab, Dave? What are you gonna say? You break up. Is it okay? Yeah, straight into the point. Straight into the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Nice and easy. Um, we'll find out what. And there's another video. Rumors were that Dixie and Nyla Devora, who's linked to Vinny Hacker, beefed over Dixie, thinking Nyla was trying to steal Noah. Nyla posted a YouTube video addressing it without naming her. We can watch that while I craft this. Noah, Nye, and Lure were filming a YouTube series. Noah posted a TikTok with them on the 2nd of November. Lari then posted this video to his story, but it was deleted a few hours later. <laughs> Dixie then posted this shady story. On November 4th, Nye posted and deleted this video of Noah to her story. Where there was this girl who thought I wanted her man because I breathed near him. I like was like breathing and he happened to be like six feet away from me while I was like breathing and she sw she swore that I wanted her man. She was like that she wants my man like bitch. Was, like she and I was like She's confuzzled for sure. She doesn't know what's going on, it seems. It seems like this she wanted, wanted her man. She's so or, defensive. Or wanted attention. Blech. That, she this clearly, I mean, yeah, she's just making herself look silly there. Can I skip over <laughs> the next three topics because I say the same thing every time on BFF? Kanye, Kardashians, who the Kardashians are dating, Kanye with similar people, <laughs> Pete Davidson. Like, 
All right. It's the same shit. I'm skipping over all of it. Don't care. Yeah. Fair enough. Don't care. Okay. All right. Quick commercial break. So we've got an incredible app everyone who buys gas needs to know about. Get Upside. Listeners are earning cash back for every gallon of gas they buy. Are you looking for extra cash or money you could use towards paying the bills? Get Upside is the perfect app for you. And it's not just for gas. So you can earn up to 30% cash back at grocery stores, restaurants, food delivery too. Just use the promo code BFF. So people can earn three times more cash back with get upside than any other product this includes loyalty programs credit card rewards just use promo code bff no points or loyalty rewards here users get real cash and can cash out at any time which is super cool you don't need to wait for anything so get upside who also works with our other loyalty cashback and credit card debit card rewards programs so that means double the points download the free get upside app and use promo code bff to get 25 cents per gallon or more cash back on your first tank. Just use code BFF now. That's code BFF. Go check it out. Um, did Taylor Holder, by the way, Taylor Holder, I don't know what's going on with him, but for the amount of shit that was supposedly coming down the pike, it seems like he's just driving on the highway. Yeah. I know. It's crazy. Yeah. It's Wind blowing in his hair. He's got a yeah. new girlfriend, maybe. Maybe. He's also happier than he's actually ever has been in his whole life. He tweeted that. Oh. Well, he's fucking maybe. crazy, I think. Good. <laughs> so let's see the video they posted. Oh, here they are. You say we're just friends, but friends don't know the way you taste. La, la, la. Yeah, so they're dating, clearly. <laughs> yeah, or he's just eating her. One of the two. Yeah. Did she get a ton of heat for that? I, I, I don't s- know. I don't know, because no one knows anything. Like on the internet, like everyone behind the scenes nobody knows, knows anything. but nobody knows anything. Yet. Like I, we, I've heard rumors as I'm sure everything has, but they're just rumors. And I also heard along those times, something's about to drop. Something's about to drop. He must be feeling pretty confident if he's back on social media. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, he never really stopped. No, he oh, did. I thought he did a little bit. Well, I mean, nah. he came on BFFs and said, I dropped a new single. The day yeah, of drama. Like, he's true. delusional. I think. Who knows? Um, Christian responds to him going on Jaden's show. Christian Madlow is X saying that people are quick to judge and his dad is a professional musician. He wanted to be one since he was five years old. So he likes going to watch anyone perform. He also wants to be mature, move on and wish everybody's well. Bullshit. That's bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Give it a little time to, to rest like too much I mean, intermingling. You can see anyone, any other mus- musician in the world. Bullshit. Bullshit. Mad's still saying no to this podcast, by the way. Bullshit. Well, I, I, I feel like we can get her on if we want to. I, you know like, who I, I think has her. the best chance? Me? Yeah, you. I mean, yes. Really? Uh, I was thinking maybe Bree would have the best chance. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, Emma Chamberlain if, officially quit YouTube. This is major news. I know you don't really know who Emma Chamberlain is, right? Wait, what the fuck? I mean, She's quitting YouTube? Yeah, she quit until she feels like she should come back on. We have a clip. Do we want to hear it? Oh, so this is a hiatus. It's not a quit. It's well, like I'm taking let's a listen. break. Let's listen. I started to think about the concept of YouTube in general. What even is this? Like, what even is this? The concept of me just filming myself and then posting it and then that's it? And that's my job. I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? This is so weird. And I started to feel really stressed out because I was like, I don't understand how it's possible that this happened in the first place and this was able to be my job. I don't understand how I ended up here in the first place. So I don't know how I'm supposed to continue it successfully because I don't even really know how I got here. Well, that's fucking confusing as fuck, but I'll say this. The <laughs> artwork of that was fire. Whoever made that, like, logo. Yeah, that she has brilliant. very cool aesthetic. And everything I'd, like, buy does. that T-shirt and wouldn't even know who she was. Yeah, I, I think she actually has that on a T-shirt, so. I may buy that. Maybe she'll People are going to be like, oh, you're an Ember Chamberlain fan. It's like, no, it's just dope art. Dope tea. Dope. Yeah. Dope as hell. Live, live, back and forth. I just said, did you break up to Dixie? She said, what? I said, did you and Noah break up? It's on BFF sheet. I have not gotten a response to that one. She yet. will not answer after that, I bet. Yeah. That's my guess. I'll put, I'll put, I'll literally put a hundred down on that. But if you broke up, you might as well say it, right? 
Who cares? Maybe they're guess, scared that like, the fandom, because they're such like an iconic couple. They're what are but, they? But what, what, what are they going to do? Pretend that they're dating for the rest of their lives? I don't know. Maybe they're just scared to say they broke up. Like you got to say something, right? Like I feel like isn't it more a little like uh, she weird saw to, like, it, hide it. If she she saw it. By the way, who do you think is the? Like I view Dixie as the alpha in that relationship, but I could be wrong. I, w- I would, of view, like I would what? view that as well. And I don't even mean inter. I think she, like, she's a bigger star to me than he is. But I, that's, I guess, what I meant by that. Oh, like oh I thought you meant ones. who wears the pants in the relationship. I also <laughs> think it's probably Dixie. But I meant more like um, who's the... Well, yeah, I mean, who, Dixie is like, what, like the third biggest TikToker in the world. No? Yeah. It's like so, probably yeah. Addison, Charlie, and then Dixie. So... I actually had that different, and I'll go to it, since it was International Women's Day while we're filming, like the biggest women on social media, and then my list got convoluted. Um, I'll get to it in a second. Thomas Petro takes the Hype House YouTube channel, change it to his name, Power Move. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. I was just like, you know what? Fair enough. I mean, he dude. started it. Now it's over. Why not take it over? That's what I was thinking. Like, if you guys are, if it's just you paying for the house, if he's the only one paying for the Hype House now, and it was a channel with a million plus subscribers. Get that back. Why the fuck give that away? Yeah, might as well take it. Like, if he's just using it for, like, the house still, fucking run it. We used to do that occasionally with Barstool. We'd have, like, accounts that had lots of followers, and then they'd stop or whatever, and we'd just shift it to something totally different. Yeah. So it'd be like, oh, this is a cat account. This is weird. Now it's talking about the Red Sox. It's like made no <laughs> sense how we did it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, speaking of power, Josh, I disagreed with you wholeheartedly on this so oh, you're gonna talk about the lebron yeah. uh, museum i know you just hate lebron though, i hate so. lebron but so lebron james will it's there's fucking this graphic. awesome man lebron james will open the lebron james museum in akron exhibits include his high school and nba careers business and philanthropic um you t- you you quote tweet it lebron james opening his own museum in his hometown is a rock star move i yep. quote tweet it said king humble you can't open your own museum somebody else has to open it for you no, but that's the, whole, that's the whole part about it. That's why it's Rockstar. He's doing it himself. He doesn't need nobody to open up his own museum. Like, so he you knows think- people are going to come to it, so he's just like, guess what? I'm going to run it. Uh, so if, if he made his own statue, like, hey, guys, I'm making my own statue in Cleveland, you'd be like, that's I feel Rockstar? like it lessens the value if you make your I'd own museum. I'd be like, museum. that's hilarious. Totally. I, think, I, think it's, I think it's a dope move. I think it's crazy. I think the fact that he's going to open up a museum about himself for the world to see is Sick. Imagine you were at that level where you could just go, ah, I'm opening up a museum of myself. Everyone's going to be there. That's, that's rock star. All right. Um, it, it, we don't have this in the list, but it, here's who I had for the women. I was going to have them rank. Like, and I didn't know where to draw the line. Like, Beyonce and Rihanna are kind of like, they're not social media. They're stars. I started with, is like Madison Pierre a social media star or a singer? I don't know. I think she's a singer. Singer, yeah. So she, uh, she wouldn't be on. So Addison Ray, Charlie, Alex Cooper. Oh. That's all I got. All those people besides Alex, though, started on the internet and then became like singer. Like Addison Ray is a singer now, technically. Charlie's still a internet sensation. Yeah. Yeah, Charlie's like Dixie makes music. Nothing. Um, I guess I would have needed more time. Like, because my list of people, I just think most powerful, Madison Beer, Addison Rae, Charlie DeMello, Kim Kardashian, Emma Alice Chamberlain Cooper, would be on that too. Miley, Kylie, Kendall, all the Jenners. I had chicken fry. I put you on there just because I like you. Um, <laughs> but then it's like, does Beyonce, does like all those, Rihanna, does, you know. What are you all asking? Those people. Uh, how influential these people are? Yes, yes. Yeah, I guess it's just like kind of subcategories of influential people. Like it would be social media stars and then singers. So who would you have in your top three then? Let's just say most influential females. Kim Kardashian, for sure. Fashion. Everyone copies what she does. Um, Music wise. Charlie D'Amelio for social media. And then I feel like you have to put a singer on there. Beyonce. Beyonce. So like yeah, Billie Eilish is pretty big. Billie I'm Eilish like, actually, yeah. She's kind of taking over the world. Yeah, and like the influential way at least. Yeah, everyone dresses even, like her now. I guess and it depends what you're trying to do. I was trying to yeah. think like if I was starting a company, you could have a spokesmodel like or spokesman, spokeswoman in this case, like who would I choose? Oh, if I could pick one. I mean, 
probably Billie Eilish, actually. That's a really good one. Every little because, girl like, looks I up feel to like, her. I feel like she also has a, has she started like a, a big company on the side besides like her music stuff? I don't think so, right? I don't think so. And she there's also like a product or something. An element of fame versus like influence. Like just because you're widely famous doesn't mean you have a ton of influence because people may not trust you. Like I think Alex being an example, Cooper, I think her crowd like will do whatever she tells them to do. I think she has a, yeah. like definitely a way crazier like sell rate than like Charlie D'Amelio. Would, Correct. Right? Like yeah. right. even though Charlie D'Amelio has a hundred million fans, she's not going to get the same percentage of her fans to go and buy her hoodie that Alex would. Like Alex' conversion rate is going to be off the charts, I think, compared to Charlie. Right. Yeah. So that. But she doesn't need as much of an audience, right? Like I, she, uh, tr- she doesn't have a hundred million followers like Charlie does. Yep. Wood is our men's grooming line offering products across hair, body, beard, and shave. Wood works and smells as good as it looks. I have, as I've been saying over the last couple of weeks, I use the Golden Hour. Smooth, brandy, Madagascar, vanilla type smells, but they also have summer house, fresh tracks, um, all sorts of different types. Uh, and, and right now, because I had the hair, I'm on the beard. I use the beard conditioner oil shave cream. Keeps the beard looking nice. No, no dandruff, which you can get, especially in the Miami sun. Uh, they have nice, clean, organized looks like feel. You, so in your bathroom, it's all one brand looking smooth together, collected, makes everything look better. Uh, all products, $15 or less. You can shop wood at getwood.com or at your local CVS. Again, you see it at all the CVS places, same branding, makes your bathroom look good, makes you feel good. I use the... Um, the beard the most right now but i'm also using the the hair the hair pomade when i can do that once my hair is back to normal so again shop wood go to cvs or you can get it uh online as well at getwood.com um okay we got some videos to react to and then uh we'll get out of here i saw this video i thought this shit was so funny um brie new boobs oh yeah got got a new rack yep racked up <laughs> do the very everyone good. Was, everyone Short. was using that sound. Yeah, Short. it became like an actual audio. Short, quick, to the point. Very good. Yep. Racked up. Yeah, I never heard that. Are you going to have like a release date for showing off the new boobs? I don't, everyone's like, it's kind of awesome. I haven't showed anyone anything on social media. And I'm, people are just freaking out. I think I'm just going to build it up and build it up. By the right, way, right, just build up the hype. I was gonna say, like, are you gonna have like a, you know, a little like a launch party? Release party? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think maybe. It's okay, guys. Uh, I'm hard. just wearing the headphones down, upside down, because I had head surgery and it hurts when I wear them. I'm not trying to be like cool. But thanks for asking. <laughs> oh, forgot oh, about it. How's shit. your head feeling? No, no, no. How's your boobs? Don't, don't worry about me. I'm, I'm fucking uh, fine. Well, I mean, I thought you were just going. I thought you were going for like a cool like Gen Z I'm DJ. I'm wearing look. my headphones upside down for the first time. I was gonna time. ask it. I was I like, know. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Yeah. I thought maybe you got some like a little like fashion no. advice over the weekend. And you came back, you're trying to act swaggy or something. No, I got haired up. So it's like, <laughs> haired up. whatever. And why, why are you wearing a hat then? Because I'm not putting like gel or anything. It's just wild, my hair. It doesn't hurt. It's a, this is all real for those at home. It's the back <laughs> where it's like I go light and I'm just, this is a future move. So I don't look a hundred like that other guy. You don't want to. Uh, you don't want to be looking. You, well, Jason Nash does have a good. He does head have of good hair. hair. He, he, he does, does have, he good does have hair. great hair. Uh, okay, next video. <laughs> that's uh-huh. crazy. That's awesome. You're late. You're late. No shit. <laughs> Look at her evil. She, she always has said, great one-liners. That was awesome. I love. She Brianna. said no shit. Yeah. Yeah, she said no shit. Oh, I didn't hear that. That's fucking amazing. With like a death glare too. Yeah, yeah. as she holds her pregnant belly. It's perfect. I yeah, feel like she yeah. has a couple like signature moments like that in like red carpets. Now I'd be mad if I was waiting, but from the sidelines that was that was a big time power move. Yeah. All right, next. I don't know what I'm looking at. You know when you're like a kid and you're in the pool and you're like, Mom, watch me do this trick. That's what that looks like. What was was that? Julia Fox. Oh, Julia Fox? Yeah, just spinning around like an idiot. That was Julia Fox. I didn't know that was Julia Fox till I looked at the sheet. Yeah. She got a dose of Kanye and she just don't know how to act. 
Like Pat, she, no, she was. She may she's have always be been a something though. She, yeah, she's always been a little bit like, from what I'm gathering, cuckoo. Um, but that was wild. Uh, that was our, wild. That was something. <laughs> is the unbiased pizza review going to be? Bryce. I think Bryce. it's Bryce's. I think it's Bryce's. It rules. He got. Uh, so I I reposted it and I had to basically stop looking at my comments for a couple hours because he dipped well, it in ranch. Uh, people weren't high. about that? They were not about the ranch life. 10 out of 10, fuck huh. yeah. Are you pro ranch on pizza? No, or no, no. Very no. con ranch on pizza. Uh, listen, do, anybody can do what they want on their pizza, but you can't score it if you're going to put ranch on it. Fair. Because like, well, then you're kind of taken away from the yeah, pizza on its right. own, right? Correct. Yeah. I do um, like some ranch on a good slice, though. I like uh, I like the like uh, fuck. What's that dip? It's like the creamy garlic dip or whatever. It's kind of anyways. <laughs> yeah, I no. think you made that up. Uh-huh. Um, no, last I didn't. One. It's not like pizza, pizza, and shit. It's not pizza, pizza. Swear to God, garlic. <laughs> yeah, it's a garlic sauce. Garlic. Right? Kareem yeah, just hits it with like garlic. creamy garlic. <laughs> no, I, yeah, dude. I, think, I lived in Toronto me. at I'm one just time. Lathering up just garlic. It's like creamy garlic. Yeah, it's a cre- yeah. You know what I'm talking I used about? to live in it's Toronto. Like sauce. Yes, yeah. It's a very pizza, pizza has it. You're right. Yeah, yeah, see, uh, it's bomb. So does eh? Papa John's, too. All right, last one. Now I'm starting to have, after all this, headphone issues. <laughs> my dad, oh, this is just John. Yeah, everyone say hi. Yeah, I'm a gentleman. <sighs> you're, getting, you're getting, like, gentleman compliments for that? Yeah, like hella. Don't you just shake someone's hands when you meet them, though? Yeah, regardless of yeah. that. Hey, this is jo- hey, Damn. nice to meet you, man. It's yeah, it was minimal. really funny. It was just super funny. I think like they they were like girls that took the clip from Bryce's podcast because like when he walked in, I went up and like I didn't know Bryce was filming, but I was just like, hi, my name's Josh. Nice to meet you. Like what you would do, like just everyone. Yeah, else. that. But um, that was pretty then, normal to me. It was super normal. Um, they took the clip and like post and they were like, oh, it's so good to know Josh is still a gentleman and like would like go up and shake someone's hand when they meet. Well, them. you, qu- you quoted it. I quoted it. I quoted it as a joke because I was like, <laughs> that's fucking bare minimum of shit. So I quoted it and was like, hey, just to let you know, I'm a gentleman and then tagged Josie and then tagged her dad as well so that they would see it. Still working on the Josie game. I mean, I think it's more, I, I think it was just more like funny. I, I wasn't, I don't know if it was like working on the game necessarily. I mean, do you know who he is? Off. Like, do you know who Jose is? Ba- yes, a baseball player, did roids. I know who he is. We had the conversation. One of like, like granted, he's cheating, but like when he in his prime, best. as good yeah, as there ever yeah. was. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Also, I know, a little I bit of a nutcase. He he's threatened to beat me up multiple times. He, he's, uh, his, his Twitter is <laughs> fucking gnarly, man. Yeah. But then, like, he came. He came to the crib and it was like, he was hella chill, like not, not, not like outgoing or anything. Just like chilling. Not out. No, he was outgoing. No, no, he wasn't. Outgoing oh, he was like quiet house. and like. That's what I mean. Like, oh, it was oh like I thought you meant like he was a, just like normal, nice. No, he was no, quiet. No, he was kind of just like quiet. Like was like said hello and shit, but like wasn't like wasn't like what you would expect from the Twitter. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I don't. I think that's the case. Um, all right, that that's all we got. That's another episode of uh, BFF. Sweet. It's a good one.